All right. Let's have a look at Food for Four by UB40. Classic tune, key of A minor. The opening riff is the power behind the song, I feel. So it starts off at the seventh fret on the D string, the fourth string. Okay, three of those. And then we go to the seventh fret, the string above it, the fifth string at the A. Three again. And then we pull off on the fourth string, seven to five, twice. And then three on that five. And then back onto this D note, okay? Fifth fret, fifth string. Okay, let's hear that. because you don't need to move your fingers that much yeah it does sound quite fancy with that little um, hammer on technique doesn't it okay so that riff comes in and out of the song but it is a mainstay of this fantastic tune the chords for this are A minor G and D and of course because it's so uh, infused with reggae you've got lots of dampened or muted uh, strums okay so your choice where you play those chords of course but what you need to be aware of is, is a reggae song and your strumming but certainly the right hand strumming will need to reflect that okay so it's not going to be a nice down down up or down <laughs> it's going to be more um, more reggae so lots of mute muting okay so not yeah you, you're not going to get away with holding your first um your left hand down and fretting it all these chords okay you've got to dampen them and that means bringing your your hand off of the strings at times okay so i'd go something like this okay You see, actually, I didn't fret at any time on that last run, any of those chords, but hopefully you could still make out that that was Food for Thought by UB40. So uh, that that's the trick, really, just um, just just coming away from the strings, okay? Just dampen them, just, just slightly let them let them uh, let the sound come through, okay? So it's not this. That's going to be too much. It's it's got to be. So you can you could see me there pushing down, couldn't you? Just a couple of times on each of those chord changes, but that's what you've got to go for. I mean, the good news is that those chords don't change throughout the song, and where you play them is up to you. So if you find it easier to do, I don't know, the E up here, or even down here as an open chord, then that, of course that's your choice. But you just be aware that rhythmically, you just need to keep that right hand always moving, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so that's the key to this song. Uh, if you want to take it to a slightly higher level, uh, you can do the A minor. When you go to the E. On the, on the last part of that, you can change it to an E7. And then to the G. 
go to a D, and you can make that a D7 at the very end of the, the line. It's just if you're looking for a bit of variation when you're playing those, uh, those chords. So let's hear that then. So just for a bit of variety, you can have that. Uh, note also I'm playing a little bit quicker than the original. It's actually quite a slow paced song, this one. So just in the interest of time, I know you're YouTube crazy and time is of, of the essence. So that's why I'm rushing through a little bit here. If you're a bit braver or more intermediate and you want to have a go at it, there's a sax solo. Ooh, uh, okay, let's look at this then. So it sounds like this. Very straightforward. You see, I'm not using my f fingers too much there. So it's eight, seven, five. This is all on the high E and the and the B here. So on the E, it's eight, seven, five, seven, five again. Eight on the B, five on the E. Then five, seven, eight, seven. Seven, eight, seven, 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 five, seven, hammer on. Okay, let's hear that. Right, pretty good, eh? A bit of vibrato if you wish. And then it's um, that uh, last part is seven, five, then eight on the B, five on the A, E. And then it's five, seven, eight. Four on the eight there. And back to seven. Yeah, okay, so um, I don't think that's going to cause too many problems. It's a lovely little solo. Vibrato will serve you well on that as well. But like I say, lovely song by you before. See, cracking tune. I think you're going to have a great time playing that song on your guitar, mate. remember this okay this is 10th fret on the b string like this really weird flanger heavy flanger effect on it Yeah, you know the part of the song. If you know the song, you'll know that bit, okay? But worth putting that in. Lots of distortion, lots of effect on that, for sure. <sighs> right, cracking tune. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. But always enjoy playing guitar.